So would you like to remove a credit card directly from Shopify? I'm going to show you how to uh, delete this into your Shopify account, whether you are updating your billing information, you just wanted to change your payment method. So let's see how we can get started. The very first thing in order to do, of course, is to have an actual Shopify store. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description just in case you don't have an actual Shopify store. So the very first thing in order to do is to look into my Shopify M3 panel. Here, it wanted to focus into where you can manage all the settings related into your store. So for that, let's focus into your account settings. So here, before navigating into my account, once you're logged in, you want to navigate to the bottom left corner of the page and click here into settings. Once I click here into settings, from the, what I wanted to do is to just focus here into the left part and click into billing. Now here, this is where we all make the payment method, including the credit card and all the elements that you're actually managing. So as you can see here, I can see my billing, my past bills, my subscriptions, and my statement of charges. This is the part which you want to manage your billing information. In the billing section, I want to focus into the upper side. Here into the billing section, find the credit card you wish to remove. So you typically see options next to the card the details such as the edit or delete. In the case is the actual people. So I can focus into edit billing profile and here I can see my payment method. So in order to delete uh, the actual card if you're planning to replace a card, it's good to have the new card information handy to add it immediately after removing the old one. So I'm going to hit into add payment method. And here it's going to be asking me to add all the information about my credit card, the expires, the CWB, the billing address and all that. After you add the credit card, then you're able to delete the current primary payment method you're using. So if I select this option, what I can do is to hit into delete. If you don't have more than one payment method, the only available uh, tool that appears here is the replace. So replace PayPal account with another PayPal account. That's the reason why that's the only uh, way of how we can make the replacement. Now to remove the credit card, after you make the delete next to the credit card details, Shopify might ask you to confirm this action. So you can me that what you want to remove the card and select and confirm delete. If you're not able to delete your payment method and you just want to delete your account, for example, then what you want to do is to delete your actual store. So for that, what I wanted to do is to focus inside my actual plan that appears into the lab hot. Here in the plan, you can see that I have the basic Shopify plan. Here's my billing and all that. So if I choose the option that says deactivate my store, here are going to be appearing three different stuff. For example, the switch to pause and build. So we can keep building your business and working on your store without customer checkout enabled for a specific price. The second step is to start a new store. So we can try a new strategy, a new themes or product, deactivate my existing store and start a new store trial for $1 with the link that I'm going to be leaving you down below in the description. Or the last thing, which is deactivating my store for now and come back when you're ready, my store information will be retained for two years. So that means that if I choose one of these elements, it's going to be asking you if you want it to, let's say, save your payment method for future payments. And if you don't, all of those should be deleted when you choose one of these options, guys. So lastly, adding the actual new payment method is just as easy as to hit now and to update directly into your billing. You can see that we have the current billing setting and you can add much more directly into edit billing profile, guys. Add the payment method and the detailed payment method. And of course, follow the prompts to complete the setup and ensure it market as a default payment method if it's the only one or if you prefer to use it for the future billings. And that is actually it, guys. So you have successfully removed a credit card from your Shopify account. So make sure that you're killing the billing information up to date to avoid any disruptions to your service. Just in case you have any questions directly into your Shopify, specifically speaking about your store, what I can totally suggest to you is to contact Shopify into the upper side, into the right part, focus into help center and contact uh, let's say here when it says start, let's say make regular shop, something about your account, Shopify administrator panel, or any other elements that you're actually dealing with. So as you can see guys, there's a lot of elements that we can get started here on Shopify. Now you know how to change the lead your store or to only update your actual uh, plan or payment method guys. So um, if you find this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more useful Shopify tips guys. Hopefully we can see you into your brand new section of TechPress. See you next time.